so he then goes on to say what does a human being want most in life and the answer is obvious it's happiness now this happiness actually depends on pleasures so when there are pleasures we are happy but our life's experience is that we don't get pleasures all the time it's always pleasure and pain pleasure and pain pleasure and pain we are buffeted between these two uh, you know uh, these two rocks on either side and it's always one or the other pleasure is followed by pain and pain is then followed by pleasure that is life so the human being reaches the conclusion that this happiness which i'm getting from pleasures is temporary transient fleeting so what is the happiness that the human being is seeking in fact what he refers to as true happiness a happiness which does not depend on the pleasures of life that true happiness is peace of mind so according to ramesh everyone is seeking peace of mind whether they know it or not now what is this peace of mind you know once again ramesh should just bring it down to the basics hmm as he says peace of mind cannot be found in the flow of life as we have seen as as it is a experience but it can be found in one's attitude to life so i think anyone who has seen enough of life go by and suffered enough in their own way will reach this obvious conclusion that yes deep down i am looking for peace you know i mean it would be the most logical conclusion to reach deep down i am looking for peace and that peace of mind i am not finding in the flow of life therefore where is it to be found is in one's attitude to life an attitude to life means one's attitude to the other because daily living from morning to night means dealing with others from the time you wake up whether it is your own family whether it is your pet whether it is your driver or the people in the bus whether it is your colleagues in the office a stranger on the road your relationship with a stranger on the road morning to night daily living means my relationship with others and when do i have peace of mind when my relationship to others is harmonious daily living means dealing with others whoever the other may be and when my relationship with others is harmonious there is peace of mind therefore what does it boil down to it boils down to being comfortable with yourself and being comfortable with others or put negatively not being uncomfortable with yourself and not being uncomfortable with others now again you know i found that this whole daily living approach of ramesh was bang on because uh, it's not something which applies to people just sitting in a zen monastery or in a cave in isolation it is to do with really daily living and see for example the bhagavad gita is nothing but what calmness in the midst of battle so the highest teaching of vedanta was put in a scenario where there's krishna and arjuna in the thick of the battle samadhi in the battlefield is the same thing we all have our daily battles and peace of mind in daily living is what the gita is about 
so the whole foundation of this teaching is my relationship with others 